Good morning! It's time for another quiz. Quiz time! But also, it's uh, that time when I say that we're going to be back in school after the 8th of March. That's quite exciting. I'm looking forward to it. I hope you are too. Um, so, it's quiz time, and uh, I've got a new microphone. I don't know if you've spotted. I, I'm so excited. Look, um, here it is. Oh, so professional. Um, I, I am just the king of professional videos, obviously. Anyway, um, let's move on with the quiz. You know how this goes by now. Uh, we got 19 out of 20 on the last one, and uh, we've been doing reasonably well. I need to check the marks, actually, and make sure I'm submitting to Miss Weller, and I probably will do that later. But for now, let's talk about the weekly quiz. And once again, I have not looked at it in advance, and now I've got a camera and a microphone in way of my viewing. This should be incredible. So, let's talk about this. What could have left thousands of US health workers exposed to COVID-19? Now remember, this was done on the 22nd of February. So um, as a consequence, there are things it won't cover. Is it A, fake face masks have been sold to hospitals, B, bottles of fake hand sanitizer have been sold to hospitals, or B, poor quality rubber gloves have been sold to hospitals? They're all sold to hospitals. I honestly don't know about the US health workers one. Uh, I do know that in the UK we've had some problems with PPE contracts that were um, given unlawfully and not fulfilled and a lot of the money seems to have gone missing but i don't think we've had quite this level of confusion so uh eh, good i suppose question two what did prince harry and megan announce last week megan megan Ugh. we're just going to refer to them by first name are we is it a they're having another baby b they're moving back to the uk or c they're launching their own range of fragrances um i actually know the answer to this one but only because i walk past the newspapers with the headline Question three. True or false, Donald Trump was acquitted, found not guilty, in his recent impeachment trial for inciting a riot. I mean, you could probably figure this one out based on how we talked about it when it was occurring. Question four. Which tech company, that's short for technology, is led by this man and is in a battle with the Australian government over a completely pointless thing and in a really useless way? I mean, well done, this man for utterly ruining any moral high ground they may have once had in this rather weird debate. Is it A, Twitter, B, Facebook, or C, Apple? Apple. Apple. Well, honey, we failed. Some people got that reference. Question five. Last week, NASA's rover named Perseverance landed successfully on A, the moon, B, Mars, C, Jupiter. And there are videos, of course, of the descent where it screams. No, that's not true at all. Um, but it's why they haven't released the video. No, no, it's not true. It's not true. But it, amazing achievement. Question six. Researchers have found the amount of wildlife a domestic cat kills can be reduced by a quarter by A, feeding cats food containing garlic presumably so they can be smelt coming, C, uh, B, only letting cats outside after they have been fed, or C, playing with a cat for 10 minutes a day. Seriously now, do we have to let cats outside? I think we're past the point where we need mouses. I'm just saying, I'm not a cat owner, can you tell? Question seven. US President Joe Biden, what's with all the first names, has declared a major disaster for the state of Texas, following which type of weather event? Is it A, major tor tornadoes, B, prolonged drought, or C, freezing temperatures. It's all being blamed on uh, Green New Deal and windmills, by the way, which is ridiculous um, on a whole host of levels that I won't go into here uh, because windmills don't do any of these things. Anywho, um, you probably know the answer. Good luck with it. Question eight. Boris Johnson, seen here on a Zoom call, has encouraged other members of the G7 to donate some vaccines to poorer countries in the world after making sure that none of ours are being donated. What is the only Asian country in the G7, that's a bizarre left turn of a question, isn't it? What's the only Asian country in the G7 group? G7, by the way, is the seven richest nations on the planet. And we are still part of that. We're no longer part of the G6, though. Um, so uh, there we go. What's the only Asian country? Question nine. There has been plenty of talk about COVID-19 vaccines as countries around the world start to roll out their vaccination programs. Which of the following companies have not produced a COVID-19 vaccine? Interestingly, um, the uh, Oxford University wanted to make their vaccine um, IP-free, uh, i.e. anyone could copy it and use it. They wanted to donate it as a charitable donation and were convinced by, of all people, Bill Gates uh, and his foundation not to and to award it to a single company, which is um, interesting. So which of these companies are not involved in that? Is it A, Unilever, B, AstraZeneca or C, Pfizer. That sounds like a carbonated drink in my head. Question 10. Chinese New Year was celebrated on February the 12th. 
not the 12th of February. What is with the US of this? Welcoming in the year of the... <gasps> it's the year of the cat. Dun, 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 dun. Sorry, that's singing in it. Oh, God, twice in a week. Is it A, rat, B, snake, C, ox? I literally don't know. Question 11. Thousands of people watch an online live stream to see an extremely rare flower bloom in the Cambridge University Botanic Garden. What type of flower was it? Was it A, a star flower, B, a moon flower, or C, a sunflower? All of them sound lovely. Question 12. In which country is this ancient landmark, currently covered in snow, found? Is it A, Turkey, B, La Grecque, or C, Italy? Um, Because everything has to have a silly voice attached. Um, You should know this one. Um, it's It's an old temple. Question 13. Europe's oldest person, French nun, Lucille Landon, overcame coronavirus recently in time to celebrate her A, 113th, presumably birthday is missing there, B, 117th birthday, or C, 123rd birthday. Jeepers, they're all pretty old. Question 14. True or false, a recent decision by the UK Supreme Court has said that drivers for Uber are technically self-employed and are not entitled to minimum pay or holiday pay from the company Uber. Now, that will be an interesting uh, government distinction and an interesting legal decision. For those of you that don't think the law affects you, this is the sort of job most people are going to get. Let's be honest, he says as a teacher. Not quite an Uber driver just yet. Question 15. Rescuers raced to free around 35 construction workers trapped in a tunnel in the Himalayas recently after the dam they were helping to build was swept away by a wall of water. That sounds fascinating. Caused by A, a collapsed glacier, B, a gas explosion, or C, an earthquake. I actually don't know, and I feel bad that I don't know that. Those of you who have been watching Al Jazeera probably know more about this than me. Question 16. Which country has this flag? I actually know the answer to this one for a change, Um, and I assume so do you. Question 17. A UK woman has become the youngest solo female to row across the females to row across the Atlantic Ocean. How ling did it take her? I think they mean long, but ling sounds funnier. Uh, Was it A, 70 days, B, 170 days, or C, 270 days? I'm expecting you on this one, Tabby. I need your help. Or Francis, I'm expecting either of you. You should know this. Boys, if you know it, obviously put them to shame, but I'm expecting those two. Question 18. Why are residents of a small village in the south of France upset with the French Air Force? I can think of multiple reasons. Oh, sorry, there's a choice. A. Military planes have been dumping fuel above the village. Ooh. B. Two planes cut power to the village after accidentally cutting power lines while flying low. Goodness me, how low were they? Or C. The residents have endured over 30 sonic booms per day. Sonic boom! Some people got that reference too. Under a new training schedule. It's schedule, but school. They come from different linguistic roots. Only Americans say schedule. Ugh, just sounds wrong. Question 19. True or false? I say that, but now all of you are going to prove me wrong. Yes, Kenzie. Yes, Gabby. I'm talking about you. Of course, you're now going to start saying schedule. Oh, sorry, schedule. Because, yeah, why not? And it's actually not that annoying. Question 19. True or false? The World Health Organization team in China says they have found evidence that shows that COVID-19 probably came from bats. Jeepers, is it taking that long? Um, True or false, it's a 50-50 chance. Go for it, have at. Question 20. What is the name of this Australian Open tennis champion? I'm I'm really sad to say I don't know. Tabby, do you know? I hope you know. Seren, you probably know. Reese, go for it. Toby, ask your brother if you don't know. James, all the Jameses, I bet you know. Tommy, relying on you as well. Um, So I'm hoping you have the names of that. And that brings us to the end of the questions. So, um, yeah, as usual, do your best to submit answers. I think we're doing reasonably well. It's a new half term. We've only got four weeks, so we might as well pick up these two weeks free of charge and see how we go. So, um, yeah, uh, have a lovely rest of your day. I will see you tomorrow for the much trialed... um, Trialed? Trialed? I actually don't know. Um, I keep mentioning it. The... uh, fact that we're going to have a live meeting tomorrow with my new microphone, uh, it's going to be great. I don't know how much I've ruined the sound quality by keep moving the microphone by hand like that. But hey-ho, it's a new microphone. I'm very excited. So, um, yeah, I'll, um, I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. Have a lovely day.